everybody, I'm Benny XD, and on this episode of Today We Dine, we're cooking some pizza. But first, we gotta make some dough, baby. What is that, Monopoly money? No, 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 I swear this is real money. It's, it's legit money, man. Doesn't look real to me. Fine, let's just get this show on the road. It's Monopoly money, but it's okay! Alright guys, we got a quick ingredients list right here. Now let's get to the cooking. Alright guys, in our bowl we're gonna put our yeast, some sugar, an eighth of a cup of warm water, and some proper 12. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. You sure proper 12's in the recipe? Uh, that's what it said. No, 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 the proper 12's for me. Alright guys, now that our yeast has bloomed, we're gonna add another cup of water, half a tablespoon of sugar, and half a tablespoon of iodized salt. And then just to finish it off, just a glug of olive oil, maybe no more than a quarter cup of olive oil. And we're gonna let that sit while we get our flour ready. Now we have added two and a half a cup of the all-purpose flour. We're gonna add the mixture to the flour. Dude, why did you become so Italian? What are you talking about? So we're just gonna mix the flour around in the ingredients. Fold back and twist. And if you need a little bit more flour to help you uh, keep from sticking to the, to the ball, then add in as much as you need. So we're just gonna knead for about 10 minutes now. All right guys, my dough has come together nicely here. I'm gonna start shaping it into a ball the best I can. So what you wanna do is just kinda twist, tuck, until you get a good, smooth top. All right guys, so I'm gonna take some extra virgin olive oil and put it in our Tupperware container that our dough is gonna go in. We're gonna coat the sides nicely so it doesn't stick to anything. Use your hands, don't be afraid to get dirty. I love getting dirty, Caleb Jackson. Then, we're gonna put it in the fridge for 24 to 48 hours. Let it ferment, let it rise. All right guys, now we gotta start making some of that tomato sauce. But first, we're gonna grab a can of sarmazano, and then you wanna grab all the, the actual tomato chunks out first. All right, now you're gonna grab a fork, and you start mashing them to pieces here. It depends on how funky and chunky you want the sauce to be, but you know, I like it a little bit chunky, so I'm not gonna mash it to an extreme taste, like a puree. After you start mashing this completion, you're gonna add about one or two tablespoons of the tomato puree. See you in a second. All right, smashed up nicely now, guys. Now we're gonna start adding our tomato paste. We're gonna add about two to three tablespoons. Tomato paste is great. It really adds that tomato flavor back into the sauce. It's a little bit lacking, but it's, it's really good, guys. So two. And then we're gonna add one more. That's good. Now we're gonna add our oregano. I really think this oregano gets that New York flavor to it. We're gonna add a shitload of this. Ooh, yeah. This is good stuff. Do a bit of pinch of salt. Pinch of salt. Do some olive oil. Not too much. And then we're gonna do uh, what, what, what's this? What's that proper 12 shot doing? Oh, proper 12? That means salud. Now let's get mixed. All right, guys, got the sauce wrapped up. We're gonna throw it in the fridge for about a day or two. See you then. All right, guys, it's been about 48 hours. Our dough has risen beautifully. Now it's time to get some stretching on it. Wait, wait, before that, make sure you preheat your oven to the highest setting possible. Ours is 550, and we've got our pizza stone in there. Let that preheat for at least an hour to get the pizza stone nice and hot. That's gonna give a nice crispy crust for the pizza. Ooh. Oh, I also forgot, guys, we're gonna cut our dough in half. We're gonna do one 12 inch pie as promised. With the other piece of dough, we're gonna make some nice crispy garlic bread. It tastes delicious, guys. It's the best part. All right, now let's get the stretch in. Let's do it. We're cutting the dough in half, bitch. We're gonna save half of it for later when we make our garlic bread. And I'm gonna start stretching out the pizza dough now. All right, guys, we're gonna move quickly here. So what we're gonna do is put our pizza on our makeshift pizza peel and on top of the flour. We're gonna put some sauce on, spread that around. You wanna spread it all the way to the edge of the crust as well. Now we're gonna add some Parmesan cheese. 
Now we're gonna coat it with freshly grated, low moisture, whole milk mozzarella. Not too much, because it'll just be greasy. Now you let it bake, baby. We gonna make some pizza tonight. All right, to make our breadsticks, we're gonna be adding a few ingredients to some melted butter to make it taste beautiful. We're gonna do a little bit of Parmesan cheese. As I said, the melted butter. We're gonna do some Italian seasoning, some minced garlic, and then we're also gonna add a shot of whiskey to it. A uh, shot of whiskey? Wh whiskey? That's not supposed to be in there. It's supposed to be right here. To the Notorious. To Crosby, to McGregor, to the Legends. <sighs> gotta do what you gotta do. Wow! <laughs> Now let's get to making the garlic sticks, baby. All right, guys, we're gonna take our fresh minced garlic, about a tablespoon of that in our melted butter, Italian seasoning, mix it up. Then we're gonna just drizzle it on to our dough. Then we're just gonna add some Parmesan cheese. All right, guys, just like the pizza, we're gonna throw it in the oven on the pizza peel, pull it out when we see the cheese is golden brown. Probably about five or six minutes. Now we wait. All right, guys, the pizza's done. The garlic sticks are done. They look delicious. Now let's hit it for a taste taste test. Oh, you went for the pizza first, I'm going huh? pizza first. I'm gonna give a nice Dunkaroo on the marinara. Bene, molto bene. I wonder if this is better. Shout out to Doughboys Belmar. They taught me a lot about cooking uh, pizza. So let's give this a taste test. We took some some of that fresh pizza sauce we had earlier, heated it up, got yourself a nice marinara. Mmm. Delicious. The sauce is really good. Mm. You can taste that like natural feel to it. It doesn't feel like a processed. Like, fresh, fresh tomato taste. Mm -hmm. Not like a jar of just marinara. It's really good. Beautiful. The dough, fluffy, yeah. nice. Super, super fluffy, super yeah. airy, perfect. All right, guys. All right, guys. Thank you for watching this episode of Cooking Man XD. Had a blast making it. Now we're gonna hit some really delicious food in. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, watch maybe another one of the videos. See you guys in the next one. Let's get into it. Ah! Cheers, baby.